Mr. Speaker, the Trans Mountain Expansion Project is in jeopardy because of backroom deals in British Columbia. Forces are uniting to kill this project and the thousands of jobs and opportunity for young people that comes with it. The Prime Minister personally approved this pipeline. He said it was a fundamental responsibility to get Canadian <coughs> energy to market. Will the Prime Minister finally stand up to the forces that are seeking to kill these jobs, or will he fold like a cardboard cutout? Uh, Mr. Speaker, as the, uh, the Prime Minister said uh, just this morning, uh, the decision we took on the Trans Mountain Pipeline was based on facts and evidence and on what is in the best interests of Canadians. Regardless of a change in government in British Columbia or anywhere, the facts and evidence do not change. We understand that growing a strong economy for the future requires taking leadership on the environment, and we have to do those two things together, Mr. Speaker. That is what drives us in the choices we make, and we stand by those choices. Chef de l'Opposition. Well, Mr. Speaker, Northern Gateway was approved because of evidence and science, and he killed that because of the opposition. The Prime Minister claims that the approval of Trans Mountains expansion was based on science. We know it will be good for the country, it will be good for British Columbia and Alberta workers. But he's already killed the thousands of jobs that came with Northern Gateway because he caved to political opposition. Will he stand up to the forces of no, get shovels in the ground and people working, or is this project doomed to the same fight, fate as his political rejection of the Northern Gateway project? The Honourable Minister of Natural Resources. The review around the Trans Mountain expansion was the most exhaustive in the history of pipelines in Canada. There are 157 recommendations from the National Energy Board. We set up our own ministerial panel that went up and down the line, and the consensus after all of that conversation with Canadians was that it is in the national interest to build that pipeline. Therefore, we gave it approval. That approval stands.